Esifa, this is GF Lazable from GamerFusion.com and welcome guys to today's video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to configure your controller or how to customize your controller to your preferred liking and ex easy tips on how to do so and obtaining the best type of setup for your controller and also for your gaming style. So if you guys don't know what we're currently looking at right now, we're looking at the Xbox Elite Controller app. This app is able to be downloaded not only for your Xbox, but also on your PC. If you want to know how to download this app or where to get this app, I will leave an annotation with a video link telling you guys how to download it, where to get it from, and how the process of downloading the specific app is. So once you uh, once you download the app, you will be presented with this image right here. It's your controller telling, letting you know what uh, each individual customization you have of the current setup for your controller. Now, as you see right there, I have A, B, X, and Y on the top on, on the on the panels and we have our controller so what you're going to want to do is you're going to click where it says configure that's the first part you're going to want so this one is going to get started on your way on customizing each individual section now as you see right there on the top we have two configure slots we have slot one and slot two as you see my first slot is called destiny because that's the slot uh, that I'm currently using at the current moment. Trying to uh, figure out what the best setup for Destiny is. I'll have a Destiny configuration video letting you know guys how I configured my Destiny schematics on my controller. So you guys could get an idea of how to do it when you guys get your controller. So, one cool thing though that I do want to point out is your controller comes with a option of 1 and 2. As you guys see right there in the middle between the menu button. Uh, and uh, pretty much between your D-pad and your thumbstick, right in between those, there is a 1 and a 2. You guys can see it right there. As you see right now, we have a blue line going up saying Destiny. That would be 1. If I switched that to 2, it would switch over because that one doesn't have a name at the current moment. But you see that got grayed out. So right now, it's on 1. So that means it's going to be using my Destiny slot 1 configuration. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and hit this configuration, all you got to do is uh, click on it and it'll give you an option to rename that slot. One thing you could also do is if you have Forza and you want to use some of the predefined, uh, pretty much the predefined, uh, you know, uh, algorithm of the controller or the predefined uh, schematics of the controller, you could just select any of these that are already been uh, made up by the Microsoft team. So if you guys have Forza, Gears of War, or if you guys have Halo, you know, and you want to do different types of schematics for that one, you can just go simply click here on your configuration. It'll tell you to configure it, and then uh, you could actually go ahead and uh, pick the one you want, and that will give you a configuration. So you could also go ahead and enter a new configuration, something that you want to enter. You could, you know, call it Config Two, as you see right there. You could call it whatever it is that you want, and that will that will give it to you right there so you can have it ready for you whenever you want which makes it a very very awesome uh, option to have so once again if you depending on the slot you want if you want to work on slot one you can figure that your way of liking if you want to configure it slot two you can figure that in your way of li uh, liking so let's go ahead and dive in and configure slot one to our liking so all right, so we have button mapping, stick, trigger, and vibration, and say to slot one. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what button mapping we have. So as you hear, see right here, button mapping is pretty much telling you what buttons you want to go ahead and change and what buttons you want to map it to. So let's say you want to map the A button to be the B button or vice versa. All you can do is go ahead, click on the scroll here, and select which one you want. But there's actually a better trick of doing this. All you have to do is hold down and press any button you want to configure. For example, let's say I want to configure this button right here, uh, which is pressing the uh, the left thumbstick down. I can go ahead and press that down and then select another button. So I select the B. As you see right there, it uh, went ahead and configured that to my B button. So anytime I press B button, it's just like I was pressing the thumbstick down for that particular uh, for that particular uh, button so very easy to do hold down the button that you want to go ahead and configure after you hold down that button uh, map it to whichever uh, pretty much er you know whichever button you want to map it to and you will go ahead and uh, get that completed so right there my configuration I think it kind of stayed and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove that one so we're gonna go ahead and do that again and just leave it the way it was 
and send it back to the way it should be. So that's very easy. That's how you map any button you want. So if you guys want to, you know, mess around with the, mm-hmm. with your paddles, so if you guys want to mess up with your different buttons, all you have to do is hold it down. Well, you go to button map and hold it down and so, and select which one you want to configure. Now for the sticks, trigger, and vibration, these are very easy to do. You have left stick, right stick, and trigger. So the left stick, uh, left stick comes with a set of uh, four different types mm-hmm. of, actually five because you know, we want to count default. So it comes with uh, five different sets of, uh, of uh, sensitivity you want your stick to have. So for example, if you see default, you're, what you're going to want to be noticing right here is you're going to want to be noticing that it, what the time it takes for me to get my, if you guys see the little uh, blue circle, it's right in the middle of the left thumbstick. And you want to see how fast it gets to the white area. So if you, you know, if you do that fast, you see how fast it gets there? All right. So if you want to get it delayed, you see there's going to be a sort of delay option right now that I select the delay on me getting further. So you'll notice a white uh, kind of like a white line coming out before the blue one. So that means by the time I reach it there, there's going to be a delay. If you see right there, the for me to reach that high point, there's going to be a delay for me to reach that. So it's not going to be as fast as, uh, you know, as a, a regular default. If I go to aggressive, you'll see how fast that, that launches. You see the white arrow is the current default and the blue is the aggressive portion of it. So you see how fast and uh, how high up it gets there. If I go to instant, that means it's going to be right on target. So if you notice right there, the white, how how much how much faster it gets there as opposed to having it on a default or aggressive setting. And then if I go for smooth, uh, you'll see right there, it's almost about the same time that it reaches there. It's just a little bit of a smooth transition, not only on your way over there, but also on your way back. So that's how the, uh, you know, the stick uh, mapping works. That's going to be preferred for different games. If you want to do Call of Duty, if you want to do Destiny, um, I played with a couple of them and I could tell you guys which ones are best depending on what game you play. Then we have Trigger. The Trigger, this one's actually pretty easy because it lets you adjust uh, the dead zone uh, when you pull your trigger. So for example, if I pull the trigger right now, you see the dead zone is all the way in the back, right? You guys notice that right there. This is the left trigger. So you see the dead zone. It's right here in the back. Even if I have my, you know, my trigger stoppers right there um, that come with the controller, it's still back here. All right, that's where pretty much it ends. So what you could do is you could raise these up right here, and this is the dead zone right here. So you put this at 50. When you pull the trigger, it's going to do it halfway. So when you shoot your gun or when you aim down sight, it's going to be very different. So since this is my left trigger, I like to have this one because I'm usually aiming and I don't want to quick snap when I am. So, you know, I don't want to have that quick snap. So this is actually going to be pretty good when you do uh, quick scopes. You can put this to 50. When you aim real fast, it'll definitely go ahead and get that completed. And since this is your right right trigger right here, you can do the same. So as you see right now, this is the one you're going to be shooting with. As you see right there, it goes this way. All you can do is you move this a little bit further up. And that's going to give you a dead zone of letting you know when I pull this half, when I pull my trigger halfway, I want the bullet to be fired. So that's pretty easy. This one could actually, you could put it all the way up here. So it's just like a simple tap. You know, if you're just tapping it real fast, you definitely go ahead and pull this if you just want to shoot real quick. All right. And you can feel it on the controller too as well. You know, when you're firing real fast, as opposed to going all the way down here and you'll feel your, uh, Pretty much you'll feel your controller all the way, all the way back. So this one, if you push it all the way high up, you can feel how, you know, how fast, more, how, how actually how less of a press you need to do when you're actually firing. So makes it really, really good, especially for F- FPS, especially if you're doing like, you know, um, not, not a weapon that you can hold down the trigger, but the ones you have to burst, making it really, really good uh, to use. So. That's how you guys want to configure that. And that's all going to be based on preference. Next up, we have vibration. And this is uh, pretty much if you want the left trigger to vibrate, the left main, the right main, the right trigger. This, you could remove all the vibration if you want, or you could just keep it the way, uh, you know, kind of default. Then we have defaulting, which is Xbox button brightness. And that lets you know um, to adjust the brightness of your controller. If you want it bright, if you don't want it bright, um, that's just pretty much the circle 
in the middle. Some people like to have it on, some people don't. So that's going to be all based on preference as well. And this is swap sticks. This pretty much swaps your right with your left. So that's if you're left-handed. Then you have inverted y, y. You could still like those, inverted left stick. And you could also swap the triggers. So this is actually, I was testing this out. And it's actually quite interesting because you can swap your left trigger with your right trigger. And it makes it, you know, a little bit challenging. I was trying it yesterday in trials and it just wasn't working at all. So it was kind of... Very, very interesting. Then after that, you can just go ahead and rename uh, rename your slot. And then you can either copy it or delete it, which whatever way you want to go ahead and keep it. So once again, that's how you guys do everything. If you guys uh, want to go ahead, you know, mess with your triggers, mess with your left stick, right stick, you can do so whichever way you want. As you see, that one was saved into slot two. So that one goes ahead and keeps my configuration. So that's how you do it, fellas. And then one thing I do want to point out, one more thing. Um... Mm -hmm. I do want to go ahead and point out the more options. Uh, this is just pretty much if you want to explore or change the name. Um, you could either go to explore and it'll tell you exactly how to get the controller, how to get it started, and how to complete the controller. I hope this video was helpful and informative. I hope it shows you guys how to configure your controller. If you would like me to create different mappings for different games, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to do it. I will be doing one for Destiny because I think, you know, the Destiny community that has a controller would benefit from that. But please let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think and if you guys are liking your Xbox Elite controller or if you're not, don't forget, for all things Xbox Elite controller related, head over to GamerFuture.com where we empower your gaming.